First came the protests, tens of thousands of men, women and children from all walks of life marching through the streets of Manama demanding political change and more equal rights. Then came the crackdown, hundreds arrested, many beaten and seriously wounded by security services. A brutality that was never expected. It shocked this tiny Gulf nation and those in the media who witnessed it. But when the journalists left, many banned from returning, the trials began. The verdicts are now being handed down. 21 opposition figures and rights activists sentenced, six in absentia. The eight given life sentences include Hassan Moshema, leader of Haq Party, his colleague Abdul Jalil El Senges, Abdul Wahab Hussein, leader of Al Wafa. Both parties had called for the Bahraini monarchy to go. Also getting a life term is rights activist Abdul Hadi Al Khawaja. His family say he has been repeatedly tortured in jail. We have always had in Bahrain coup plots claims by the government, by the regime, because they have no faith in the people and the people have no faith in them. The US president recently said there can be no reform in Bahrain if the political opposition are locked up. Only last week Washington put its major ally and home to the US Fifth Fleet on the same human rights violators lists as Syria and Iran. Following the sentences, a State Department spokesman said, we are concerned about the severity of the sentences handed down in Bahrain. We're also concerned about the use of military courts to try these civilians. We continue to urge the Bahraini government to abide by its commitment to transparent judicial proceedings. The Bahraini government has called for a period of national dialogue and reconciliation starting July the 1st. The largest opposition party, Al Wafaq, says any such talk now is totally unrealistic. Protesters braved the security forces once again after the sentences were handed down. Police raids, intimidation and arrests continue more than three months after the attempt to silence Bahrainis wanting political change began. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera.